hello friends <laughs> oh i hate that i'm starting a new vlog like this it's the second week of ramadan and i'm ill <coughs> you guys the past few days i've been so unwell just like bed bound unwell I keep getting an on and off migraine i've got a sore throat <coughs> i've got one of those coughs that like makes you feel like you're gonna throw up when you cough it's really horrible. I didn't want to start the vlog like this. I really wanted to start when I was fully better. But I've been ill since Friday. It's now Monday. Like, can we just wrap this up? <laughs> I'm so bored of it. I'm excited for a new week. I'm excited to see what we get up to. Hey, friends. I keep getting migraines. Like, they just keep coming and going. Or well, the sensation is constantly in my eyes. So this is my solution. Sunglasses. To do anything. To go on my phone. To watch TV. Mainly for screens and lights. And it actually seems to help. Just a little hack for you. I've started doing this because I spent the last few days in bed sleeping. And the migraines aren't just like fully going. They keep coming back. So I'm getting fed up. I don't want to sleep anymore. I just have to make do. And this is me making do. <laughs> Being unwell is dangerous in more ways than one. Because who just ordered a bunch of stuff from TikTok shop that they didn't really need but did anyway? I ordered a bunch of stuff from TikTok shop and it just came. So I thought I'd share it with you. One of the parcels I opened but I haven't tried anything on yet. I actually got given the wrong thing. So this isn't what I ordered. Not what the doctor ordered. I think it's an Abaya. Should we just open it? Oh, it's pretty cute. <coughs> it's pretty cute actually. I wasn't actually keen on it in the packaging, but actually it looks really nice. It's like a full length dress. This is a really nice like Eid outfit actually. This is all from TikTok shop. I'm not sh I can't remember what the shop names are, but I'm probably going to do videos on all of these things on TikTok. So I'll link them in the video. So if you're based in the UK, you should be able to shop it as well. I also ordered this dress. I don't know if this is the right time of year to be still ordering this stuff. It's getting hot. It's getting hot out there. But I've got this knitted dress. It's got this high neck and it's a grey one. And I just thought, I don't have enough soft knitwear. I got addicted to ordering these lounge wear sets on TikTok shop and I was so excited about it at the time. And I remember trying them on. I've done loads of videos of them on my TikTok. And the styles are so pretty and cute. And I was so not used to like being able to get access to loungewear like that because a lot of loungewear is like cropped and like just not modest, but these are like long lounge wear pieces that were comfortable I could wear but now the more I've worn them and washed them the materials they're not all bad they're like some of them are quite rough and they're not that comfortable so I'm like mm, I'm not as happy about them as I once was so I tried to get uh, this into a dress because I thought the material would be like really nice and it actually is quite soft at the moment oh no it's short I hate it when the dresses like don't go past your ankles this is annoying this is annoying, but the sleeves are cute. They're like a bit flared. I'll try it on anyway, because it's hard to tell when you don't have it on. But that is the first one. And I got these two today. I don't remember what I ordered, to be honest. Oh, I think I got some abayas. You guys, I've been doing this 30 days of abayas on my TikTok. And then the past few days while I've been ill, I just went dead on all my social medias because I just didn't have the energy. I kept getting headaches, so I just couldn't. Post. So I've got some catching up to do. What is going on here? There's a lot of material and I don't know what to do with it. Oh, there's a belt that just dropped. There's, okay, oh, okay, okay. So it's got, like, they've got the slip dress with it. It's cute. It's like this nice champagne colour. So it's got the slip dress with it. And then it's just got the abaya. Oh, this is like a really nice simple one. Oh, I love this. And it's got the bow tie sleeves oh i'm excited to wear that that's really pretty i love that it comes with the slip as well so it's like a matching set and it's got a belt with it and i love the color of that so i'm excited to try that on and then i just got one more thing okay got something blue i can't even remember what i ordered i'm gonna be honest and it was only a few days ago Clearly I was out of it. Oh, it's one of those shimmer dresses. You know those dresses that have gone trending where they've got that like, that material to them. I was just like, I was getting FOMO to be honest. Because every girl and their mother was wearing these. I don't know why I ordered the blue. I do remember clicking blue and I'm not sure why I did that. Okay then. <coughs> it's basically dining table cloth. 
Oh, okay. So it basically is meant to have like a tie inside. These dresses look really nice on. I always wonder how they make these one size. Like this is meant to be able to fit like any body size. It has these ties inside the dress that you can tie to your body. So yeah, I'm interested to wear this, but essentially it's just one big massive sheet <coughs> at the moment. It's literally a, a square sheet. That's crazy. That's so funny how this is an outfit, but I'm excited to try that on anyway. Giving me some inspo on my own designs. I don't think I use a material like that because the designs I have in mind are just different. <coughs> Anyways, just wanted to show you those. I've come to the conclusion. I've reached this stage now that I'm just gonna have to fake it till I make it. I need to just fake being well, even though I feel like crap. I'm just gonna fake that I'm fine because I think that's the only way at this stage that I'm just gonna get over it. Like if I keep telling myself I'm ill, then I don't, I'm not gonna recover. I'm not gonna fake it and I've got just enough energy to be able to do that now. So now's the time. So we're fine, guys. We're absolutely fine. If you hear a cough, if you hear a bunged up nose, we're fine. We're gonna go through the rest of today. <coughs> ah. We're going through the rest of the day and we're fine. I'm not gonna go try them on yet because I actually don't have the energy to do go and get changed. Oh, uh, getting a headache in my eye. Can anyone like advise me? Probably by the time this video goes up, hopefully my headaches would have gone. But I keep getting a headache right here. Like when I tell you it is right here and it is so painful. That's why I was wearing sunglasses last night because it keeps coming and going and it comes in my eyes. So anyways, we're fine. What are we talking about? We are absolutely fine. Good morning, friends. It's actually not morning anymore. It's past 12 in the afternoon. I was actually intending to fast today, but before I even got out of bed, I broke my fast. So that was great. I now have this new routine, which is really incredible. All night long, I will get up every two hours to have a coughing fit. So then I'll take some cough syrup and I will also take a cough sweet to calm it down. Then I'll go to sleep for another two hours and then wake up and the cycle begins again. And I basically did that all night up until like 11 a.m. this morning, which is when I got out of bed. So with me like taking cough syrup like literally all night long, I don't even know if I meant to do that, but I needed it. Like I couldn't stop coughing without it. Um, I don't know if it's the air in the room or lying down makes me cough more. I don't know the deal. I don't understand it and it's just, it's doing my head in at this point. I was actually like in the mindset I was going to fast today, which is the most annoying part. But anyways, we have a new problem on the horizon today because my hips have given way. Like my hips are actually gone because I've spent the past like four or five days literally horizontal or just curled up in a ball on the sofa. I don't know what's happened, but the my legs and my hips they are not doing well at all and i've just got to this point where i'm like well i wasn't expecting a delivery just go open the door hello okay it's the pros of living in a flat people just buzz your door just to let them in to deliver someone else's parcel it wasn't for me anyways so i've decided we're gonna go take a walk the weather is literally miserable can't actually see it properly but the weather is so miserable today and i really wish i had the energy to do this yesterday because the weather was really nice the sun was shining it's actually scheduled to rain in like half an hour but i don't care we're doing it i also put up a story the other day asking for some advice on getting rid of a migraine I did this thing last night. It might have worked a little bit. I still am feeling like a head pain. Um, but it's not as bad as it was. It's not in my eye anymore. I was feeling, you guys know, I was getting the like headache in my eye, which was so painful. But now it's not in my eye. It's like at the top of my head, which is a bit more bearable because at least I can like see. But yeah, the, the headache's still there. But I did this thing where someone sent me a video and they basically mixed cayenne pepper with lime juice, lemon juice, and something else and drank it and when i tell you my throat burnt i burnt my throat doing that i don't know if it helped me very much but i'm feeling better today you guys it's just that i'm still not well <laughs> you know i'm still not well so anyways we're gonna go for our walk i'm actually gonna take a walk to my gym do i have a gym membership no am i intended to go to the gym no but we're just gonna take the walk there 
I don't know, maybe we're practicing for when we actually do get the membership. I just want to see how the walk is. I just have an excuse to get out of the house because I literally haven't left the house in like the past week. But anyways, let's go do that. I am pretty much ready. I'm just going to grab a coat. It's 11 degrees outside. I might actually take my earmuffs too because my ears get really cold when I go on walks um, for some reason. And not, not that it's windy outside, but like, I don't know. I just get cold ears. I don't know how to explain it. So I'm going to stop talking now before I start coughing. <laughs> let's go okay is it 11 degrees warm or not because i'm going out with no arms on my coat and i don't know if i'm going to regret that i don't want to make myself more ill but also i can't put the arms back on my coat it's just difficult to do and sunny won't do it for me it gets very really angry when i take the arms off my coat because <laughs> that's so hard to put back on he put it back on fine the first time the first time i asked him to do it he did it really quickly so i was like oh great so every time i need to take them off and put them back on i'll just send it to him second time he did it he was huffing and puffing and he couldn't do it properly and it was getting all i think it's because we went to go eat and he was hungry and he was just like was rushing in and wasn't doing it properly so he couldn't put it on and then but he eventually did put it on. I think he put the wrong arm on the wrong thing and then he got annoyed. So I had to switch it. Then the third time I did it, oh my days. He got so angry with me because he, <coughs> he couldn't do it. <coughs> and since then, he never put the arms back on for me. So since then, I've been armless. And I don't know how to do it by myself because it just takes a lot of effort. I mean, I could do it by myself. I just don't want to. These are the arms. You guys, by the way, I have a taller uh, coat. Oh, it's the best thing ever because you literally get a gilet and coat. Like, so these are arms. You basically just use zips. It's not really that difficult to do, but just like to whine and whine it. Dotty, dotty, whine it. Should I just go out like this? I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. We outside. So much roadworks going on. I literally live in the cul-de-sac and they got roadworks on here. Vlogging outside, so people see you and give you a side eye. But, um, it's not actually that cold out here, to be honest. I'm glad I didn't layer up more. I need the fresh air in my lungs. Um, I don't know how far away the gym actually is, so I guess we're gonna find out today. No lap day. I've got a stitch, I'm nowhere near there. I think I underestimated how long this walk actually is. I don't even know how far I have to go, I just know the direction. So let's keep going. I'm literally walking uphill. This is not okay. I don't know if this is a smart decision or a really, really dumb one because I'm cold, it's raining, my head is hurting, and I'm still no gym in sight. <laughs> Guys, I made it. I made the gym. It's actually so packed. Like the car park is so full. I honestly need to sit down. <laughs> There's nowhere to sit down. What do I do? <laughs> I have to make that walk all the way home now. You know, I discovered I don't need to get a gym membership, but I just need to walk to the gym and back. And that's my fitness routine complete. <laughs> I'm back, guys. I actually timed myself on the way back because I forgot to do that on the way there. It took me 20 minutes to come back, and that was downhill. So it must have taken me a good 25, 30 minutes to get that. I'm exhausted, but I do feel stronger. Is that weird? Oh, you guys, I got some really exciting news the other day come through. Alhamdulillah, I'm so excited. I don't know if that walk I did earlier did me more good or bad. I don't know. I'm not feeling quite right. I also did promise Sunny that I'd make him his iftar today. And I really can't be honest. <laughs> <coughs> I can't be bothered. I'm so tired. I'm tired because I've done nothing all day. And I've got a really bad ulcer here. But yeah, I guess I've got to get cooking. I've got about an hour left till uh, iftar time. I said I'd make him pepe's chicken and rice. So um, I guess that's what I'm doing. We did find these recipes on TikTok ages ago that we're meant to cook together. But we haven't really cooked together at all this Ramadan. Well, we kind of have and haven't. We did start, obviously, once I got ill. All that went out the window. We got ourselves into actually a good routine because I realised, you guys, I always used to say I hate cooking. And I've recently discovered it's not the cooking that I hate, it's the clean up after. Like, I hate dishes and having to, like, clean the kitchen and the fact that there's a mess and then having to deal with that after cooking. Or even before cooking, like, having to 
they clean everything because a lot of the time we just leave stuff until it actually needs to be used and then it just makes the whole process so painful so we got into this routine of like he would do all the dishes and wash up and clean everything and then i would cook and then once i cooked he would clean everything so when i came back to cook everything was already ready to use and i actually started to find cooking a lot more enjoyable now what's annoying is that today um there's dishes in the sink i don't think it's everything that i need so i'm just gonna pretend it's not there but yeah that's kind of the routine we've been getting into and he's been so good bless him with like look after me while I've been ill and just doing a lot. So that's why I was like, I'll make you a thought today because I just wanted to like do something for him. But even though I'm not feeling 100%. Do you know what? It's when I sit down for a while or it's a mindset thing as well, I have realized. Because when I'm sat down for a while and like, I don't know, I start just feeling more drowsy or unwell, it just gets in my head that I'm actually ill. But then when I get up and I like start doing stuff, I actually have the strength to do it, so I'm just gonna get it done. We just gotta get it done. I just found this uh, Perry, Perry marinade that Sunny must have bought. I didn't actually realise, and it's a quick, quick marinade that I've never actually used before. But seeing as we're going for that Perry Perry, I'm gonna use this. We've got some pre-cut chicken. I think it's breast, but it doesn't really matter to be honest. I'm just gonna put this perinade on it. It's got. Water, vegetable oil, coriander leaves, salt, tomato puree, vinegar, lemon, red chilli peppers, garlic powder, onion, lemons. It's got everything that I would have put in fresh. So I think we can just coat the chicken in this. So that's what the marinade looks like. I'm just going to mix it in. It says to leave it marinating for like 20 minutes. So while that's marinating, I'm going to actually make the rice. So I found this recipe for the rice itself because I think that's the hardest thing. Because how do you flavour rice? Like, I never really understood that. found a recipe online on how to do that. So I think I am going to try and fast tomorrow, you guys. Because I'm back to work, basically. I'm back to doing the lives. My next shift is tomorrow. And I haven't moved it. Because I do just think, like, I've got to get back eventually. I honestly don't know what I would have done if I was working full-time right now. Like, there was definitely... If I'd taken like sick days off work, every day I'd have to log in being like, sorry, I need another day, sorry, I need another day. It just would have been so stressful, but I don't honestly remember what I used to do when I was ill. The first couple of years of work, I didn't take a single sick day off. And actually, it was only during my um, maybe last year of work that I actually started taking sick days when I was ill because I was like, why am I suffering through this? Like, I just started to realise how bad it was for me to... And you get paid for those days. So I was a bit silly to not take up those days, get paid for it, instead of just suffering through whatever I was going through. Nice and mixed in. Ooh la la. So that's what our chicken's looking like. Oh, I'm excited for this. I usually always marinate my chicken myself with like the spices that I choose. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how this tastes. I'm probably gonna stick the chicken in the air fryer. So I've seen it comes out looking real juicy when people do that. Normally I cook it in the pan, but we'll see. I'm gonna see what um, I should do. Okay guys, I have a slight problem with the rice situation. So I was gonna cheat a little bit and get some of Uncle Ben's help. So I was gonna use this, but I only have one packet of the normal rice. So I think I'm gonna have to take a trip to the supermarket to go and get another packet because that's not gonna fill both of us. And he hasn't eaten all day, so. I'm going to have to share that with him. There is an Aldi literally up the road from me. Um, it's not a far walk at all, so I could definitely do the trip. It's just annoying because I just wanted to go ahead and start making the food. I need to check what time it is. Um, but yeah, we don't have a lot of time, so let's just go. Let's just go and get what we need. I think it's just the rice I need, which is annoying because it's a trip and a half just to get some rice, but let's go do it. And look at us on our second outing of the day. <gasps> wow. My walk earlier today literally feels like a lifetime ago. Like it really doesn't feel like it was today. It's a little bit chillier now. Sun setting soon, but I definitely feel a lot better when I'm actually like out and about. So let's go get some rice. Second walk of the day. <laughs> Complete. Okay, so we essentially walked all that way for a single bag of rice. I was really disappointed. I keep forgetting Aldi does their own thing. They don't like to stay on brand. 
so I wasn't sure how I'd feel about this one. Probably the exact same thing in the packet, but psychology says this one just tells me it's gonna taste good. This one, I'm a bit frightened of. We're gonna find out anyway. Let's make some rice. I'm gonna do everything this side so you can see what's going on because I can't really show you the other way around. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're running out of space. We're running out of space, space. We're running out of space. Da, 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 da. Yum. Guys, this meal is coming together so nicely. Look at my rice. I've made a total mess, but look at the rice. <gasps> so, so beautiful. I'm so lucky today. I can actually give it a bit of a taste test before I feed Sunny. And as soon as it's the first time I've made this, I definitely need to check. So let me show you the chicken. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. How incredible. It looks so juicy. Oh. I need to start making chicken in the air fryer more often because have you seen how juicy that looks? My chicken ain't normally looking like that. Oh, by the way, you guys, there's a garlic sauce I need to make as well. I completely forgot, so let me make that. Okay, guys. I tried to make the garlic sauce. Um... I mean, it kind of tastes the same. It's just got like minced garlic bits in it. I don't know how to get rid of them because I did minced garlic and put it in there, which is what the recipe said to do. So I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to plate up and um, I'll show you the final result. Okay, I've just plated up a bit for myself just to try it. I've just got a tiny bit because I'm not really in the mood for a full meal right now. <laughs> Looks so good, you guys. I'm going to try it and um, give some to Sunny. And we'll see what he thinks. Hello guys and girls, how are we all doing? It is now Thursday and please excuse the robe. I did have a shower earlier and I have to get changed for my lives that I'm back on today, later on in like a couple of hours. So I just thought I'll just change then <laughs> when I'm ready to get into the abaya. But anyways, as you can tell, I'm feeling a lot better today. Um, it's a shame that it's taken me this long to feel like actually fully better and um, when I, I say fully loosely because I still have a lingering cough which I'm really trying to get rid of but today is our last day of this week's vlog because my vlogs now go up on Friday and it's Thursday today so to give me enough time to edit I do need to close the vlog out today but to be honest today has been very much an errand running day I've just been catching up on things that I haven't been able to get to while I've been unwell throughout the week so it's just been one of those days of like catching up and tying loose ends and that kind of thing. It is around 5.30 at the moment. So it's just about time to be getting ahead on cooking iftar. Um, I've decided to make a shepherd's pie today. Um, I'm gonna quickly cook that. I have pretty much got myself ready. I just, I am half ready in the face um, because I thought I'll just get the majority of my face ready for later and then like complete finish once I've actually um, had iftar and made it and all that but yeah I just wanted to catch you up today and uh, let you know what's going on um so yeah I'm gonna get to cooking we're gonna make our shepherd's pie my meat is pretty much defrosted I think I hope I don't really have much time left um so I'm just gonna get this shepherd's pie ready get it cooked have a bit of it before I then go on the lives and um that's pretty much the day done actually um it is the end of the day now okay guys shepherd's pie is ready to go in the oven i've just put it in this dish <laughs> look how freaking beautiful that is I'm so proud of myself i've become a cooking queen in well i took a bit of hiatus when i was unwell but we're back to it so i'm just gonna put this in the oven. I think fasting opens in about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna put it in for 20 minutes. I just want the like the cheese to go brown, you know how it is. So we'll just put that in. I'll just put 15 for now. Um so yeah, that is now in the oven, I'm gonna be cooking. I'm gonna go prepare for the live and get everything set up so it's ready to go. I didn't realise um how close fasting is to 7pm now well it's not close to 7pm it's in closer 
um, because it's still like at 6.20ish. Can't remember, I need to check the calendar again. But um, yeah, time has moved on very quickly. So I'm gonna go get myself all ready. So I'm ready to go. And um, by the time I've done that, hopefully, the shepherd's pie will be ready. Oh my golly gosh. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna ruin it or not, but I've got these spring onions. I'm just gonna sprinkle over the top because they were left over, so why not? Okay, that'll do. <laughs> hey guys, I'm just about to go eat iftar. I've dished up. Oh, I'm just having a little bit for now. I'm gonna eat later properly because there's less than 30 minutes left till my life. So um, yeah, I'm getting a little bit stressed because I don't know if my food's gonna digest in time and I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting stressed. Anyways, I thought I'd close out the vlog here because I don't know if I'll have time later on and um, I definitely wanna get this video up on time tomorrow. So thanks so much for watching you guys. This week has been eventful to say the least or not so eventful with me being ill majority of it. But thanks for sticking around if you made it to the end of this video. I really, really promise next week will be a lot more interesting than this week has been with me just complaining about being ill all week long. I'm really sorry for that. That wasn't the plan. Trust me, that really wasn't the plan. But we will definitely be up to some fun stuff next week. I'm going to make sure of it. So stick around for then. And with all that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.